Okay, so in this video, we've got the sports science data and we want to look at doing bivariate graphs. Okay, so we're interested in doing our scatter diagram. Now, we know in bivariate data, it really matters about which one is my explanatory variable and which one is my response variable. My explanatory variable is the one that explains what is happening in my response variable. So therefore, I want to put my explanatory variable on the x-axis and I want to put my response variable on the y-axis. So, I want to look at, and I hadn't really thought about this until this second, but I want to look at if your BMI affects your percentage of body fat. Okay, so I put BMI as my first variable, and I put percentage of body fat as my second variable. And that is my scatter diagram. Now, I need to give it a title. So I'm going to change that to scatter diagram showing the relationship between BMI and percentage body fat. Now, I don't need to put units into my title because there are no units for BMI and there's no units for percentage of body fat because it's a percentage. If I did have units, I would probably make sure I put those in. Take the advice of your teacher about those sort of, sort of pieces of information. Now, I'm at the point where I'm looking at my options down here. I can look at my graph and I can start making a call about whether I think there's a relationship there. I can choose if I think there's a relationship there to put a regression line on. For some reason, it's not really liking that much. And the moment I put a regression line on, it gives me the equation of the regression line, and it gives me the R value. Now, the R value is a measure of strength, but it's not the only measure of strength. It should not surprise anyone when we I click that on that that value is really low because this, this is not a good scatter diagram. Okay, we are more interested in the visual than in the, the number. Okay, so your description visually. If I've got some points that are particularly far from the line, it's going to take me a long time to go all the way down through all my data to find them. So I can use the point labels. So if I click point label, it tells me that that point is 45. So I go down to row 45, and it will give me the opportunity of reading off the numbers. So I have, in 45, I have a female netball player who has a BMI of 25.64 and a percentage of body fat of 35.52. It's much better to get the numbers from the data than try and estimate from my graph. Last thing I want to put on to here is I can choose to then put an extra variable into my graph. I can either do it by colouring. So I've chosen to colour all the people who are male in green and all the people who are female in red and look at my relationship. And I want to use that to see if there's any difference. Or I could have done it as two separate graphs by putting the gender as an extra variable and then I'd be looking does my graph behave the same way and I can see that in females as the BMI goes up the percentage of body fat goes up at a faster rate it's almost double so that is something that I could comment about if I wanted to at that point so that is using NZ graph to draw scatter diagrams Okay, good luck. Next time we'll talk about the next part of this.